Our next two presentations today are from Lithium Companies. And first up, we have Stephen Biggins, the Managing Director of Core Lithium with the ticker code CXO. I will now hand you over to Stephen to tell us more about the company's flagship lithium project in the Northern Territory. Thank you and I appreciate the opportunity to speak today. Let me bring up your presentation for you. Great. Terrific, thank you. Um, with the uh, recent uh, $140 million financing deal, uh, signing off-take, binding off-take with, uh, with one of the world's largest lithium producers and completion of our definitive feasibility study, uh, CORE is construction ready uh, to start producing high quality lithium concentrates out of Northern Australia. Uh, we'll be looking to start construction of the project before the end of this year, which will put us right um, at the front of uh, new production, global new production of lithium as we look to, to start construction this year and start production from the project by the end of next year. So core lithium, our finished lithium project um, is ready to build. We're construction ready, uh, it's fully funded. Uh, we have all government approvals we need to start construction of the project and it's a low risk project with excellent economics. So we are very well placed to become Australia's next lithium producer. Um, it's the most advanced new lithium mining project in Australia. Um, it's positioned only 88 kilometres by sealed road from Darwin Port and less than 45 minutes drive from the suburbs of Darwin and um, yeah, excellent infrastructure around the project, which is one of its key strengths. Um, the recent equity deal um, raised up to $140 million, which includes a significant investment from the world's largest lithium producer into the company. So it's a very you know, strong badge of quality for the project. And it's, um, importantly, it secures funding for us to start building the project. So you know, we are construction ready. The project is fully funded. Uh, it's in a low risk tier one jurisdiction in Northern Australia, and we have all government approvals in place. So it's ready to build and we'll start construction of the project before the end of this year and be producing high quality lithium concentrates uh, by the end of next year. Uh, and importantly, that's in the context of you know, recent lithium prices hitting over $1,000 a tonne. So our timing is absolutely perfect. Um, the, the, the economics of the project are excellent, um, low capital intensity, so only $89 million startup capex to enable us to produce up to uh, close to 200,000 tonnes per annum. So you know, put that in context, you have $89 million Aussie to be, be producing revenues of over $200 million per year and uh, really high margins because our, our operating costs are competitive. It's only uh, US $364 uh, for us to produce a, a tonne of concentrate and prices going out of Australia at the moment are, are, are close to $1,250 US a tonne. So that's a huge margin for us. And you know, our project is ready to build and to hit the market um, next year in that high pricing environment. And obviously, you know, the project has excellent economics. And you know, if I think the 850 US price that we were sort of using um, in the DFS is now is now actually quite conservative, considering that the latest spot price coming out of Australia is something like 50% higher than that at around US. $1,250 a tonne and you know, the pricing pressures in the market at the moment and forecast in the future are actually expected to get tighter. Uh, we've, uh, we've got binding offtake in place alongside a big equity contribution from the world's largest lithium producer, Gan Feng, uh, alongside our, our long-standing um, binding offtake agreement with, with Yahua, who, uh, who are likely to link us into being part of Tesla supply chain. Um, so we're ready to build stage one of the project, uh, but we will shortly be also investing into stage two and stage three of the projects to expand production and to look, for, look further into downstream manufacturing, into chemical manufacturing in the future as well. So our project is, uh, is fully funded. It's ready to build. Um, you know, we're looking to uh, achieve FID over coming months and start construction of the project before the end of this year. Uh, we've just completed a $91 million institutional placement uh, that was hugely oversubscribed at 31, 31 cents. 
Um, we're just about to wrap up a $15 million uh, share purchase plan from shareholders that's been um, well, um, well uh, applied for. The, uh, and, and importantly, we've just com completed a, a, an, an additional binding offtake agreement with, with Gan Feng, who are contributing a $34 million equity investment, which was actually at a premium price at close to $0.34. Cents, $0.34. Cents. Um, so we're, we're fully funded. Projects ready to build. Um, and we've got offtake with some of the key, key players in the lithium battery supply chain. Gan Feng. Um, it's a four-year offtake deal. They're providing $34 million of equity. Um, alongside that, we've got an offtake deal with, with Yahua. And uh, early, earlier this year, Yahua signed up a supply agreement with Tesla. So it's very likely once we get into supply, we're supplying Yahua with lithium concentrate, they are going to be converting that to, to lithium hydroxide and they're selling that lithium hydroxide to Tesla. So we'll be, we're very likely to become part of Tesla's supply chain and we're becoming part of Gangfeng's supply chain. So you know, we, we're tied to some of the biggest names in, in the EV space and the lithium battery supply chain. Uh, we think there's a, an excellent opportunity for investors and shareholders in the company as we move towards production over the next 12 months and we get valued alongside uh, the existing Australian lithium producers. Um, you know, with a merger now of, between, of Galaxy and, and Oracobra, um, there is now no lithium producer on the ASX that's, that's valued at less than $5 billion, okay? So as we move into production over the next 12 months, we will move from being priced as, as a developer. And let's put this in context. It's a project that's fully financed. It's construction ready it's low risk um, and it's ready to build. So in the next 12 months, as we move into production, we'll be valued as a producer. And currently across the globe, lithium producers are being value, valued at about 20 to 20 times EBITDA. We're looking to, to and through our DFS, you can, you can see our EBITDAs, you can, you can look at through those at a very conservative price of $750 US ton, our annual EBITDA is about 75 million. If you plug in today's prices and, and you know, future prices into that, you know, that's, that's a significantly higher number. So as we move towards production, we will be priced, likely to be priced as a producer. And as I said, currently global producers, lithium producers are being priced at about 20 to 25 times EBITDA. So we are delivering on stage one of the project right now. So we will start construction of the, the, the Finnis lithium mine and, um, and the processing facility this year and be, in construct, and be in production on stage one by the end of next year. Uh, alongside that producing in the order of um, you know, 175,000 tonnes per annum of, of high quality lithium concentrate SE, SE6. Stage two of the project is, is, us, uh, is the company targeting to in significantly increase production um, towards 2024. Um, we're currently investing into additional resource growth. We've got a, a, a $10 million budget uh, that we're, for this financial year that we're putting into exploration and resource drilling. On the back of the recent financing, we get, we're looking to double that investment in growing resources and, and mine life for the project. Um, which will lay the foundation for us to significantly expand production from the project, so expand SE6 production. And for example, uh, if you look at a CapEx to process plant CapEx to produce 175,000 tonnes per annum is only about $40 million Australian. So if we replicate that again for stage two, for an additional $40 million um, CapEx, which would likely come out of cash flows in 2024, we would then be looking at a, a project that has the capacity to potentially produce 350,000 tonnes per annum of concentrate. So that's, that's a real opportunity for us as, at stage two is to potentially in, substantially increase concentrate production. And that's not just uh, about leveraging the value of the, the, that asset for, for, um, for the company and its shareholders, 
but it, in, in really it's a response to the, um, the demands and the expressions of interest that we've had from the lithium battery supply chain and from our customers and future customers that are saying, build more production, build more capacity. We want to take more product from you and we want to take it for longer. Um, and then stage three for the project is really about the, the company moving towards and potentially moving towards lithium hydroxide, so lithium chemical manufacturing from the middle arm industrial site uh, adjacent to, to the mine and to the, the, the city of Darwin, um, halfway between mine and port. Uh, we've got strong Northern Territory government support for, for that. Um, uh, and indeed, we've actually received $6 million of federal, Australian federal government support for us to undertake feasibility studies to bring forward that investment into stage three into lithium chemical manufacturing. And we really think, um, you know, stage one of the project, um, which we're looking to start construction on in the next few months is just the beginning. Um, we've, we've, uh, we put together an acquisition deal earlier this year. Uh, we've got three drill rigs on site right now, um, drilling exploration and resource expansion holes with the aim uh, that we're looking to, to more than double our life of mine and, and double the resources of the project over the next 15 months. Um, we've got a level of confidence in, in achieving that goal um, in that we've already defined an exploration target of between 10 and 16 million tonnes. Um, and we're now drilling that and undertaking additional exploration. So you know, we think there's a strong pathway for us um, for, to continue to grow the resources and the life of mine of the project. Uh, key key uh, attribute of the project is it's low capital intensity. It's a low risk project. It's one of the world's most capital efficient mining projects. Um, and you compared to, to those projects around the globe. And importantly, the project is close to Darwin Port and the capital city infrastructure. So there's a whole bunch of infrastructure we get to leverage, access to the port, plugging into grid power, our workforce based in the, resident, in the suburbs of Darwin, um, access to an international airport. So that's a whole bunch of capex that we don't need to spend um, that gives us access. So that's you know, one of the real key strengths of, of the project alongside you know, the excellent grade and, and resource quality. And just finally, um, I mentioned earlier, we've, re we've recently received a $6 million Australian federal government grant for us to undertake feas feasibilities to produce battery grade lithium hydroxide from the project. So we're undertaking a scoping study at the moment that we should look to release to the market shortly, um, which has excellent economics um, and puts us in a great position to actually you know, extract value and really leverage the value of this excellent quality asset. And final slide, we, uh, we've completed our DFS, we've completed offtake and financing, we're looking to complete FID on the project over coming months and start construction of stage one by the end of this year which will put us in a position where we're starting production by the end of 2022, right at the front of the line of new lithium, global lithium production. And then we're also investing in laying the platform and the foundation for stage two to expand concentrate production in the future and investing in the, the feasibility to produce lithium hydroxide, lithium chemical from the project through stage three from the project over time. Um, thanks for, thanks for, uh, your attention, appreciate your interest and, and thanks for shareholders and investors in the project. Over. Well, thank you for the presentation, Stephen. We'd have a few, a few questions come through, so I'll jump into it. Um, so can you please elaborate on the company's drilling plan for next year? Yeah, sure. So we're, we're actively um, exploring and, and resource drilling currently. So we've got a um, roughly a 10 million budget that we're investing right now into resource growth. Um, that's uh, and that for, for this financial year and probably a budget very similar, uh, you know, sort of doubling that scale um, sort of over, over uh, the coming period as well. So, you know, we're really investing. We think we, um, you know, the project should be, you know, the DFS we've released to date, it should be just viewed as a snapshot that the project will continue to expand. Perfect. And just another one. So some other companies have had success with spot selling options. We'll see mm. if they'll be considering this. Yeah, well, the, the terrific thing about our offtakes, you know, we've got offtake with, you know, some of the best names in, in the lithium battery supply chain, but we also have spare production that we can push into the spot market. So, you know, we're really looking forward to getting into production by the end of next year 
and getting some product into the market, you know, right at right at the right time with uh, with excellent pricing and and being exposed to spot pricing. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining us, Stephen. A copy of today's presentation will be available online on brokerbriefing.com in the coming days. Thanks again. Great. Thank you.